before you can follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to have Eclipse and the Android SDK installed on your machine. Once you have that running, you can open Eclipse and click, you're going to go to File, New, Android Project. If you don't have that available, you can go to File, New, Project and select Android here and hit next. In here you'll get the create Android project screen, give your project a name, whatever you like. I'm going to go with Pong Game. You might want to do the same. I no spaces there. Um, you can leave the other defaults alone. Hit next. Then you're going to select a target. I usually go with an older one so the app works on older devices. We'll go Android 1.6 here. Hit next. And right here, um, the only thing on the application info that you really need to change uh, is the name for the package name. Whatever you like. The convention is com.companyinitials, the RWS, and then a short name for your app. So I'm just going to put POM. Everything should be lowercase here. Um, the activity and everything you can leave as the default and hit finished. And now you should have a Pong game over here in your package explorer. Okay. You have your project created called Pong Game. Okay. Next thing you'll need to do is, in the description of this video, there's a link. It'll take you to a page that looks like this and has these files that I'm going to need you to download to create this game. So the first one we want to download is called Main Activity. Click on that. You should be able to copy and paste that. And what we're going to do is go into the SRC of your project and then click on the, the little package name. And so here's your main activity. So we can double click on that, it'll come up over here. And what we're gonna wanna put in is we can, I'm gonna leave that package name in case it, it's different. So I'm gonna paste in all this here. Um, so the package name is a little different. So you wanna change that package name, make sure it's whatever yours is. Okay, so I'm going to actually get rid of this one. And this, the name of this here needs to match the name up here. So it's going to be Pong Game Activity. All right, that should get rid of the little red mark under there. Um, you're going to get an error here. Don't worry about that right now. Uh, it's because we didn't set up our layout yet. Um, just go ahead and save that, Command S, Control S, if you're on a PC. And we'll come back to that in a second. I'm just going to get all the files in. So the next thing you're going to need to do is, so that file you already had in there. The other ones you're going to need to make. So you're going to File, New. And we're going to go with File. And... It's already saving it in the correct spot, com, RWS, Pong, and we'll call this one, the next one we're going to bring in is um, Game Activity, and so we can call that, we'll go with this Act 1 just for Activity 1, so I'm going to go ahead in here and call this Act1.java, finish, you see that's in there. So we can come back here and actually select all, copy, and we'll paste that in here. And we need the same thing here. We need to make sure that package is the same at the top of every page. So I'm going to go ahead and change that up. All right. That one compiles pretty well. It's giving us an error here only because we didn't create this that file yet. And we're going to do that next. So we're going to go same thing, file, new, file. And let's go see what we want to call the name of this. We're going to do our Pong game file. And the name of that is just Pong. Um, you know what, I'll just copy that so I have it. I'll go back here and we'll call it 
Pong with a capital P dot J A V A. Finish. Okay. Paste all that in there. We have to go back here and change our package again. Copy. Paste. Save that. Alright, so now we got three. Now our fourth file, we're just having four files to this, is our game thread. Okay, I'm going to copy that, and that's going to be called game loop thread. We're going to go file, new, file, game loop thread. Make sure you spell it exactly the same as the file name. Hit finished. And paste that in there. Again, have to keep changing the package name. Paste, save. All right, this one compiles without any errors, as does, let's see, this one. Is it good now? Or is it giving us an error still? You know, you can always look for the error over here to see where the red marks are. Oh, okay. Um, some of our resources aren't in there yet. We'll put them in momentarily. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and put in our XML file. You'll notice down in your, your resource bin, RES here, that you have under layout called main.xml. Double click on that. Gives you the graphical layout, but we're going to want to look at the XML layout. So we we'll click on that there, and we'll come back here, and you'll see you have. Uh, oh, this needs to be updated. There we go. This is our layout. We want to grab. Actually, you know what? We should download that as a file. Save link as. I'm just going to put it on the desktop for right now. All right, so I've went ahead and I downloaded the main.xml XML file, and then I opened that with Notepad or Text Edit um, if you're on a Mac, and it should pop up something like this. And with your your main file open, I'm copying all these here and I'm going to paste it right there. Lastly you'll need to download these two images and you can right click on them save link as and just make sure you're in your project pong game your res folder for um, that's where you, you store all your images uh, it's short for resources, so any resources that you would have for your application. And we're going to actually store these in the drawable high um, DPI folder. And go ahead and hit save. And do the same for your other one. Um, and that will get those files in there. You will need to go into your Pong. file and make sure you on line 140 hopefully you have line shown just comment out that line there um, we, we don't have that file yet that's for making it a, a brick you'll be able to find it though because you'll have a, a red mark here related to it and as you put the images in these red marks should go away and your whole file should be able to Hit refresh, and it now all compiles. So we can go like this and go to run as. Let me bring this up a little bit so you can see it. Right click, run as Android application. 